Hello everyone, Dr. Prachi Khandagre here. I welcome you all to my YouTube channel that is Homeo Heal. Here we discuss all various uh, physical and mental health problems. So let's start with today's video. Today's video is nothing about uh, this disease, that disease or health or uh, any sorts of health related things. Today is something very interesting. Uh, I think a couple of days ago, I had uh, posted a post on various platforms that you can ask me any questions you have regarding uh, homeopathy. And I was absolutely surprised and overwhelmed and taken aback after seeing all your questions. I was really happy to see all so many questions and uh, I'm absolutely obliged to answer them today. So here I am uh, answering all your questions. So let's start them one by one. Okay, uh, uh, let me tell you, uh, there were many common questions also I have taken, I have shortlisted all the questions which were very much common. I have seen to it that I answer almost all the questions and uh, if your question is not there here, uh, please do not feel bad. It is some, somewhere where related to the other questions. Alright, so yeah, let's start with the video. So the first question is, uh, goes something like this, does homeopathy treat pregnancy? And uh, does it help in giving a healthy baby? And does it help till it uh, till the delivery? So yes, definitely, uh, it helps uh, in pregnancy. Uh, it does help in ANC. ANC is antenatal care, and homeopathy has its own ANC protocol. We can give uh, very good remedies uh, for good uh, deliveries for not going or not be prone to cesarean sections. We, we maximum try to uh, make the woman very much comfortable and very much prone to normal delivery so that her health and the baby's health is also normal. So yes, definitely we can treat pregnancy. Secondly, it definitely treats infertility also. That is if you are having uh, problems in uh, conceiving or uh, if you not only you or your husband is also having any problem in conceiving, definitely and uh, homeopathy does help in uh, giving very good results in infertility and also post delivery also Homeopathy has very good results on the milestones on the of the baby in uh, maintaining the good health of baby. Yes, it has absolutely amazing results. Let's take the next question. Uh, this is uh, a very good question, I would say. Uh, it is uh, more of a, as a, uh, we have talked about mental health, it is somewhat pertaining to that. And I would like to little bit modify this question. So the question was, any specific medications on anxiety in general. So um, I wouldn't say only anxiety, uh, basically mental diseases or mental, uh, the whole spectrum is from the anxiety to, to, uh, to suicidal tendencies. This The spectrum goes like this. So homeopathy has absolutely wonderful remedies we can give in a person who is anxious, who is fearful, who is maybe anything, who is feeling lonely or apprehended everything so the first thing if a person is anxious we try to go back in the history and that is why case history is given of so much of importance so yes definitely why uh, the uh, actual root cause is important here or why the patient is going through so much of anxiety is all we see here and definitely the basically the outcome is anxiety or the outcome is feeling of loneliness or the outcome is some other disease so the root cause is to be found out if we find out that we can treat anxiety or anything any any mental disease can be cured in homeopathy the third question is uh, i am a diabetic since 20 years and have been taking homeopathy since two months uh, i see small differences in my symptoms but not uh, in my blood reports why is it so it's a very good question again see i would like to say as i uh, answered in the earlier question root cause is important diabetes uh, diabetes or uh, blood pressure or cholesterol are all metabolic disorders now metabolic disorders have a very specific deep rooted cause it can be anything it can be a loss of uh, a near and dear one it can be failure it can be fear of failure it can be sudden shock it can be positive or negative it can be a sudden uh, trauma to your mind like losing a job or if you if you are the actual um, earning member at your home or anything such causes are to be found out if we can find out that we we can treat your diabetes absolutely secondly it's since 20 years right it's a very long uh, lifespan uh, of the whole period right so 
two months and you are getting good results in your symptom, I would say it's a very good uh, indication that you are on the right track in your treatment of homeopathy. Correct. Now, why don't you see uh, uh, your uh, differences in the blood reports? Here, I would like to say every person's uh, metabolism every person's age, sex and what occupation are you in, what are your mental stage, what is your immunity level, all these things depend on your cure. How fast you are going to react to my medicines, it all depends on all these facts. Alright, so when uh, it comes to blood reports, it's something pathological. But symptomatically, that is subjectively, you're absolutely fine. You yourself are telling me that the symptoms are good, but blood reports, do not worry. If the symptoms are good, your blood reports will obviously normalize and you do not need to worry. Give it a time because it's of 20 years and you have to have patience in this. So all the best for your treatment. The next question is, can homeopathy treat chronic diseases? Absolutely. If you have watched my webinar, a um, few days ago I had uh, done a webinar. Uh, so in that I have uh, clearly and in detail explained what are chronic diseases and uh, how homeopathy helps in this. I would like to brief you a little bit. Chronic diseases are something, uh, the diseases which um, we see or we experience over a uh, span of three months. Within three months, if it is getting cured or if it is get, if it is going by itself, it is not a disease. If it, it's not even acute, it's not a disease itself. So if it is going on it, going back on itself, or it's, if it is normalizing normalizing on itself, definitely it is fine. But if you are experiencing same set of symptoms over the span of three months, yes, it is a chronic disease, and you need treatment for the same. Chronic disease have a deep-rooted cause and when there is a deep-rooted cause without homeopathy you cannot proceed. That is what I would like to say. So if you are experiencing some set of symptoms which are more than three span of years and you have a deep-rooted cause maybe you might not be knowing it because root causes or deep-rooted causes are somewhere in our unconscious and subconscious minds. For that you need an expert to dig down your memories, to dig down your feelings and to dig down your uh, temperaments and natures and if that happens it is nothing like it. You will absolutely get rid of your chronic disease. The next question is, does homeopathy have any side effects? Absolutely no. Uh, there's no much explanation to this, but it is worldwide and it is, <laughs> it's an absolute no answer because the homeopathy does not have any side effects. The only reason behind this is, first, it is totally natural. Secondly, it is absolutely proven on people so that we know what were the side effects and we do not bring the medicine itself in the market. So, for that reason, there are, there are no side effects at all of homeopathic medicine. Next question is, can homeopathy be taken along with allopathy, Ayurvedic, acupuncture, acupressure or any other contemporary or any other medicines? I would call them contemporary medicines because we are all going together. See, uh, every uh, system of medicine has their own course and every system or every doctor gives you a medicine to treat you properly correct so they have their own course homeopathy has their own course they do not interfere at all definitely i would suggest you to keep uh, a difference of at least 15 minutes in between two medicines or in between two therapies if you're going through an acupuncture uh, acupuncture therapy or acupressure therapy you can keep a minimum distance of uh, 15 minutes in between the two the therapy and the medicine or if you're taking any other medicine you can have uh, the uh, medicines in a gap of 15 minutes so that is absolutely fine you can take homeopathy with any other medicine you want do we uh, next question is do we have to follow any strict diet while on homeopathic treatment? Absolutely no. I have answered this also in my webinar. Um, homeopathy has been found out in Germany 225 years back almost now. In Germany or in Western world, uh, there are very strong and raw things taken. We Indians do not do that. For example, coffee and mint or onion and garlic, you would have heard that you should be not eating while on homeopathic treatment. It's not like that because here in India, we saute or we fry everything. 
we do not eat anything raw in most of the cases yes salads and all we have been aware of it in these days so we are doing it otherwise we are having everything fried most of the rawness of that particular vegetable or fruit is all may already gone and made it into a curry before we know it so we do not have to worry about the effects of that on our medicine and it will not antidote our medicine secondly about coffee in western world still coffee is drank beautifully that is without milk we indians don't do that we put milk in that and we absolutely crush the beauty of coffee unfortunately yes we do that most of us like it that way most of us like black coffee the the people who are taking black coffee need to keep a distance of at least half an hour to 45 minutes be, be, between your uh, coffee and your homeopathic medicine otherwise if you are taking a regular coffee with the milk that is absolutely fine you can keep a distance of 15 minutes that is fine so you do not have to go under very strict dietary conditions while taking homeopathic tra treatment next question is does exercise and diet have a role in homeopathy absolutely it has dr samuel hanuman it's himself has given this approach of exercise and diet i think it is for almost 78 pages and the the reason is because homeopathy was the first system of medicine which put forth a holistic approach towards a man in disease or a man in disturbance of his uh, whole system holistic approach is something that you you don't get cured only by the um, medicine you get cured by exercise by diet by lifestyle modification and everything by mental satisfaction meditating and all these things so this is known as a holistic approach so yes diet and exercise have to be followed along with your homeopathic medicine do consult your doctor before doing so next question is do you say that homeopathy is an option to surgery no absolutely no is a very good question but it's a big no homeopathy is not an option to surgery home definitely it's a limitation to the homeopathic system but homeopathy can prevent few surgeries which can be prevented where, where, where it is not that much necessary but where surgery is necessary where total uh, uh, the whole uh, degeneration of the knee joints has been done totally where there is a total um, you know uh, the lysthesis of our spine is done where there is bamboo spine where there is tubercular spine there has to be done some surgeries which will bring it back to its position or will, which will replace it definitely we support that and we should do that pre surgery and post surgery homeopathy can be taken pre surgery for good uh, response in the surgery and post surgery it can be taken for good healing and fast healing of the wounds yes so no homeopathy is not an option or it's not a substitute for surgery next question is can homeopathy prevent hair loss and does homeopathy help in treating your skin absolutely because uh the reason behind this is again as we have answered in many questions root cause is important hair fall has a very deep rooted cause because hair itself has a root so that root why is it coming out we need to understand and we need to go back in the history and the past of the patient similarly skin skin is your mirror basically so whatever ha is happening in your body the skin will answer it and when we know that because skin is just outline it's the covering of our body so we while we treat your skin we are not treating your skin we are treating you all right we do not heal thyself so that is we do not treat the disease we do not treat your pimple we do not treat your hair we treat you as a person and that is why we get maximum results with a holistic approach and last question it's a very interesting question and it comes from a student how do you opt for a homeopathic course and further higher education in the field as i am very much interested okay so i am first of all i'm very glad that many young and youth uh, of our generation is interested in doing this uh, and is trying to enter the homeopathic wonderful field uh first of all after your 12th uh, you have to opt for the whatever uh, aipmt or neat exam or whatever the entrance exams are nowadays 
after that you get a set of colleges in that you have to specify that you want to go for which field that is ayurveda homeopathy mbbs and all those things after that you get your colleges you opt for it you get bhms degree after completion of five and half years of course so after five and half years you get a bhms that is bachelor of homeopathic medicine and surgery this course after this course you can opt for a md course also along with a bhms you can do other little certified course of maybe anything of um, there may be bachelor medicines or any other meditative course and which will help you very nicely in your practice so yeah i hope i have answered all your questions uh, satisfactorily and that is it for today so thank you so much for watching the video and keep up in the space to watch the next videos thank you so much